Hey everybody, this is 3D Terry on Instagram, and this is my Painter's Fortress, version 1. Over here, I have extra sliders that I made that I'm not currently using, as well as I have sliders for uh, two paints. Here, I have my Army Painter Speed Paints. They have sliders. You can slide them pretty much all the way out so that you can easily get into the back. They will support themselves and you can easily store quite a bit of paint within one of these uh, 200 by 200 millimeter cubes. Over here I have the uh, stair step uh, for the Army Painter Speed Paints and it has the ability down here to have a drawer in it. The stair step will also work with AK Interactive and Scale 75 paints. Here I have my war colors and some army painter uh, tones that I use in the specs paints. The stair steps will also work with Vallejo and two thin coats paints. Obviously more army painter and they even have versions that will work with Pro Acryl. The uh, Redgrass Games palette will fit right in here and they have sliders for the Pro Acryl if you don't want to use stair steps. Army painter, Reaper paints, I even have drawers filled with big tubes of craft paints that I had from before that I will probably wind up uh, transferring somewhere else. Um, they have sliders that work specifically for Dalarani paints. And those same sliders, since they're two tiered pockets, will fit smaller things like the Ejo Model Wash your uh, Green Stuff World pigments, even some testers paints. And the drawer systems, this one, the tall one, is one that I uh, did myself in Tinkercad. I just mixed up a couple of theirs and made that drawer. The three stack drawer is part of the kit. And down at the bottom, they basically had three different sizes of drawers that go uh, horizontal. The two side-by-side, -side, the one big one, and the two stacked. Um, the two side-by-side -side can also be, also be turned vertically and be uh, two drawers, one on top of the other. I just don't have any in that configuration. Um, they did come up with themed panels to decorate your um, painter's fortress but I did not make any for this particular painter's fortress simply because I really there aren't any visible surfaces that you see that could have those on them now then the reason I'm making this video is because they are coming out with a new system Painter's Fortress version 2 and in it they are going to um, have updated theme panels, updated sizes, new features. Uh, one of the things I really like is they're using magnets to hold on the theme panels now. Um, this is an example of their steampunk theme that has not been painted. They, uh, modules themselves will interconnect together with the magnets so if you have some kind of uh, if you're like me and would like to use magnets to align them instead of just having gravity and then of course they have smaller beauty panels for those as well um, in addition the uh, new system is also going to have new features like a, a 3D printed wet palette, um, 
a bunch of different uh, sizes of cubes and storage options. Um, things that I didn't print out of the first set were corner pieces, and they've also got decorative panels to go on the top. Um, I just didn't feel the need to do those personally, but uh, I highly recommend you check them out. Um, you can get the version one on uh, my mini factory currently, but if you just wait another month or two, you should be able to get uh, the version two and it should have a bunch of different features in it that uh, weren't available in the version one. Anyhow, this is 3D Terry. 